because you're looking at my garlic right now. And right now, I have got scapes coming up. And they're ready to be picked off from my garlic. When they turn around like this, they're ready. I've done half of the bed here. And I'm ready to do this half or this part, a few left. And I kept them because I wanted to show you. I just pinch them off with my fingers. Like so. You can cut them. I've seen um, I've seen other videos where they, they pull it somehow and I can't really seem to get that. They pull it right out of the stalk but I can't seem to do it. So these are garlic scapes. What I want is all the garlic, I mean all the uh, energy from getting these to bloom to go to making my bulbs or getting my bulbs uh, to form and making them bigger. So you cut these off, but you don't throw them away and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. Some people say when you stretch it out, if it's tall as tall as your greens or a little bit taller then it's ready to be cut and taken off so i would say most of these guys are ready they're not all going to come in the same see this okay so here is a little a little one that i think i'm going to leave although this is a little plant that. um this is curled around so actually i might take it out but as you can see, they're different. See, this one's little, and this one's a little bit bigger, but this plant's a little bigger. Hopefully you can see that with all the green going on. Okay, here's my garlic scape right here. It's coming out of this plant. It's curled around, ready to be picked. So I thought I'd show you an up close. So I go down, this is the, the very top leaf. I go down as far as down the stem as I can go, right down to that leaf, and I stick my thumb right in there, and I just pinch, and it snaps and pops right off. And I'll tell you what, I've taken a bite of that, and it tastes just like garlic. It's so good. Okay, so here we are. I've got the scapes. These are what they are. Hopefully you can see that okay. And what they do is as they come up through the middle of the plant, they start to curl around and they become nice and long. So I've got a whole pile here and I've got some already cut up here and I need about a cup and this looks like it's gonna give me probably over a cup because I have all this that I just picked. Um, well, I didn't just pick, it was a few days ago so the, yet the tops are a little bit yellow. So what I do is just cut those little pieces off. Actually, you can cut it right up to the bud. If you hear a little voice, my granddaughter's here. My hands are all freezing. Your hands are all freezing? That's because you ate a popsicle. And so as I cut these up, I'm using a pair of scissors to cut these up. And as I cut them up, they smell so divine. So this one, the yellow didn't go all the way down to the bottom, so I'm gonna just cut a little bit of that. And I'll cut the, the flower off. And just keep trimming and cutting. So here's another one. So I just cut it just below the flower bud. And I just cut the green. And I'm cutting these up small because I want to put them in my little chopper over here. And I think it'll be just a little bit easier. So I'm just basically taking the, cutting the flower off and then just chopping this up. <clears throat> I don't want the camera. How's your popsicle? Good. You want to see the camera? It's right here. Mm -hmm. That one's can really... I can see you on there. See? <laughs> there you are. We're at the store. Are we at the store? Yeah. No, we're at Grammy's house. Does it look like the store around here? You're silly. We're at the store right there. Oh, it looks like we're at the store? Looks like we're at Grammy's messy house and she hasn't, ah! hasn't cleaned the counter off. 
So I'm just gonna continue to cut these up and then I'm gonna get them into my chopper. And then once I'm done with this, I'll show you what I need to do. Me and Katie are going at the store. <laughs> we are at the store. You think we're at the store? Okay, there are three ingredients to making this garlic butter. One is a cup of the scapes, four tablespoons of olive oil, and one pound or four sticks of butter. So what you do first is put your scapes in your chopper or whatever you decide. Yep. You could do... Okay, good. All right. So what you can do is just put these right in here to chop up. These smell heavenly, just to let you know. Oh my word, if you love some yucky parts there. If you love garlic, this is gonna be for you. Okay, don't wanna put the lid on yet. All right, so the next thing is you put four tablespoons of olive oil. Two, three, four. Four tablespoons of olive oil. So you don't have to take your scapes off your garlic. You can leave a few on and let it flower. They end up being the flower of the plant. Let's see it. I think I have it right. And you can let them go to seed. Well, that doesn't want to go on there. There we go. Um, and you can let them go to seed, and then you can save the seeds for next year to do your garlic if you wanted to. All right, here we go. Okay, so I stopped this, um, and I'm just kind of just pushing it down so that we can get it all spun up and real nice and small. All right, so again, I'm just stopping it and pushing it down so that it will be nice and small. I'm using unsalted butter, so you could add salt to, to this if you wanted to. Um, or you can use salted butter, it's up to you. You want to let it sit out so it's nice and soft. This has been sitting out for a few days, so it's super soft. Super, super soft. Look at that. So that's going to be easy to mix up. We're going to add it um, to all four sticks of butter and mix it in really well. All right, so here's my four sticks of butter. Just putting the last one in now. Now you could use margarine if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be butter. I happen to have some. I, I usually buy a few extra and pop them in the freezer so I have them in case we run out of butter, which happens quite often. All right. And then here is my um, garlic scapes. there. And we're just going to scoop them into, in with the butter. Very garlicky. This is just like an added bonus to growing garlic that I didn't even realize. All right. So I'm just going to do this by hand. I don't know how everybody else does it, but I'll probably do it with a mixer, I suppose. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, so the next thing you do is you take a baking pan with some parchment paper or a 
oh, wax paper. All I have is parchment right now. And you take your butter and garlic scape mixture. And you plop it on there. Try to get all that I can. And then you just try and spread it out. So there, just spread it out like so. And then uh, we're gonna pop it right in the, I'm gonna stick it right in the freezer and freeze it up. And once it's frozen, um, well, actually, I probably should put the lines in it. All right, so before I put it in the freezer, I'm going to put some lines in it. And this is so to help when it freezes. Um, you can take them out and there'll be little bricks that you can take out and use. Or little pads of butter that you can use you're doing like garlic bread or garlic steak or um, some veggies or something and you want a little garlic in there you can pop one of these out of the bag um, once they're frozen and then just just put it in whatever you're using thaw it out however you want to do it and um, those will be delicious so I'm gonna pop them in the freezer and we'll see how long it takes to freeze them up or get them at least so that you can you handle them and then I'll pop them in probably a uh, freezer bag, Ziploc bag, and I will um, be able to take those out and use them when I need them. Okay, so it only took about one hour for it to get firm enough so that I could break them up into little pieces. And as you can see, they broke up very nicely. I just used um, a baggie on my hand to just kind of get them broke up and into the bag just so that my the warmth of my hand wouldn't it wouldn't melt it all over the place and make a mess and i just stuck them in the bag i'm going to double up the freezer bag put it pop it in the freezer since i don't have a gallon size freezer bag and whenever i need it to want to cook with it put it in different dishes make garlic bread any of those things i can retrade in and grab this and use it it has made um a pound of butter it's pretty awesome I really I'm really excited to try it in something and uh, it's kind of an added bonus to having to planting garlic and getting some scapes off them so like share and subscribe guys hit the bell on the side the drop down hit all it means you'll be notified whenever we upload a video or go live so that you can catch us, chat with us, ask questions so that we can talk back and forth. We really enjoy doing that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.